Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. I'm a principal software engineer, YouTuber and also a career coach. To play all these roles in my day-to-day -day life, I use some tools which makes me more productive. So in today's video, I am going to show you what are those tools which makes me at least two times more productive. Don't worry, this is not any promotional video and all of these tools that I'm going to mention are completely free of cost. So you can start using these tools from today and probably they will help you in your day-to-day -day life as well. Number one is otter.ai. So this is an AI tool that converts voice to text. Like I told you, this is a free tool. You can just search for otter.ai in your browser and sign in with your Google account. But why do I use this? If you have been following my free courses, whether the AWS free course, Terraform free course, or the Python free course that we are doing, each and every day we create folders and there is a detailed readme file for the entire syllabus. Now, if I write this entire thing by myself, which is some thousands of lines, I'll take two to three days to just write these files. Okay. Of course, to think of creating this entire uh, course syllabus, I might take some two to three days, but for writing these files, I should not take a lot of time. So for that, I use this voice to text AI tool and it's very simple to use. Just click on the record button and whatever you talk, it gets converted to the text. Let me show you. Docker is a containerization platform, whereas Kubernetes is used for container orchestration. So if you see here, everything that I was talking got recorded. So this is the purpose of otter.ai and to write such huge files, let's say during your day to day life, if you want to write a lot, Probably it can be your uh, blogs that you are writing in uh, hash node or medium, or if you want to write some notes, that is, uh, you know, something that you want to publish open source, then you can use this otter.ai. But of course, if you want to use in your, uh, you know, for your office related work, then please take consent from your management because this is a AI tool that records everything in cloud. So if you are dealing with some sensitive information, that sensitive information might go to cloud. I use this for my YouTube purpose only. Now, the second thing that I use is draw.io. So draw.io I use for designing any architectures. Let's say if I'm explaining some concept, mostly you will see that in the notes, I'll prepare the architecture diagrams. It can be the ultimate CI CD pipeline or any complex architectures that I explain. So for that, I use draw.io. IO and it's very, very useful because let's say I want to say that an EC2 instance is connecting to S3 bucket and I want to show this to you people. So instead of taking these boxes, I can simply come to the search section and search for S3 bucket and draw.io has a lot of predefined shapes. So you don't have to design this shape by yourself. You can simply copy paste it here, right? You can just click on the button. Let's say EC2 instance. So again, you know, you'll find something uh, that is related to an instance. So you can take it and then for the connection, all that you need to do is just drag and drop, right? It's very simple to represent any kind of complex architecture, not only related to AWS, but you can also find if you just search for Azure, you will find all the uh, symbols or, you know, all the logos related to Azure. So that way I use this. You can search for uh, Kubernetes, let's say. So you'll find all the uh, logos related to Kubernetes and you can also play around with this to master this. Of course, you will need some time. Uh, like for example, here I'm seeing uh, a different background. I can change it. I can just uh, change this from the grid view to a page view and then I can convert these uh, icons here or the logos here to a sketch format as well. For example, now if I take any kind of uh, shape, you see here that this is slightly different that, you know, this is not uh, the actual line that you see, but it is a line that you uh, find it like a sketch, right? That is, you think that someone has actually draw this. 
So you can use all of these options. There are so many different things that you have here and I use it on a day to day basis. So for this particular thing, I think you can use it for your uh, office related things as well as you know, you can also use it for uh, your uh, open source things what that you're doing, probably writing some blogs or whatever it is. But anyways, if you are doing some confidential information, better to take consent from your management. This is the tool number two that I use. Number three is GitHub code spaces. Now, if you are my subscriber, you might have already guessed it because I told it multiple times in my previous videos and there is a reason for it. So I keep traveling a lot and I have two different laptops. One is for my official work and one is for my personal work like YouTube, LinkedIn, writing some blogs, learning new technologies, right? For example, Python or Go language, or I want to uh, implement something related to Terraform. So all that kind of things, I keep it in a different laptop and to carry both of these laptops whenever I move from one place to other place is very difficult. So what I do is I do most of my personal work in cloud that is in GitHub code spaces or AWS environment, Azure environment, wherever you can create free instances. But GitHub code spaces is little more flexible because as I've shown in the previous videos as well, if you create a GitHub code space account and if you spin up an instance in GitHub code spaces, by default, it comes up with your favorite IDE that can be Visual Studio Code or any other thing. And all that I need to do is I just have to install the extensions, probably Terraform, I've shown you how to install in it, right? Or Python, Go language. And I can simply start writing. I don't have to worry about setup. I don't have to worry about installations. So you can create instances in a lot of places these days. Uh, all the cloud providers almost provide free instances, but this is something more flexible to me and I'm using it on a day to day basis whenever I want to make some YouTube related stuff. So I hope you found these three tools very useful. Apart from this, there are some tools that you might already know. For example, chat GPT. Chat GPT is something that I also use to improve the efficiency. Let's say uh, I'm writing a Python program for uh, the purpose of sharing with you all. For one program, I can write it by myself. But if I have to uh, give five examples, six examples, you know, I take that uh, with the help of ChatGPT. I try to verify if it is correct or not. For ChatGPT, always make sure you verify it by yourself, especially if you are a DevOps engineer, because ChatGPT has a lot of false uh, positives from a DevOps point of view. So I verify it from my side. And then I try to upload it to the notes. So this is some uh, information that I wanted to share with you people so that you can also use these tools and make yourself more productive. Thank you so much for watching today's video. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.